Uh, we're going to talk about regeneration of the uh, diesel particulate filter, which is a pollution control system that's on these tractors. Uh, they, they have, when you get above 70 horsepower, you have two systems. You have a, a DPF and you have an SCR, which is selective catalytic reduction. What that amounts to is you inject, the tractor injects death fluid into the regeneration process to help burn off uh, nitrous oxide. Uh, so, there's a, I've got the hood raised on this, uh, the DPF is essentially your muffler, and you'll see some lines there that uh, uh, is where the, the DEF is injected into that system. It requires heat to work, uh, and uh, higher RPM, so the information is found in the operator's manual under the engine section, and we always recommend using your operator's manual. Also, something to note on these system is you should use a uh, oil with a classification of a CJ4, and we recommend 10W30 Kubota oil, of course. But uh, any good quality diesel engine with that class engine oil with that classification would work. Um, your def is uh, also you need to use good clean def. It does have a shelf life. It should be stored out of the sun. It should be stored at temperatures less than, I believe, 78 degrees. Uh, the DEF tanks all have a blue cap. That's all you want to put in there is good, clean DEF. Most of these containers come with a, a nozzle to fill it with. If you do use a funnel, use it only for your DEF. Don't pour anything else through it. Recommend putting it in a sealed bag between uses so it doesn't have dirt. You don't want diesel fuel on it. You don't want motor oil just death. Keep it clean. Contamination of the death tank is not a warrantable failure. Okay, the, the regeneration set, uh, process is similar across all the Kubota tractor uh, lines. There are two buttons that are located on the dash and it's a little easier than trying to find the, to show the symbol. So there's one that looks like exhaust coming out with a circle and a line through it. Uh, that's your parked regeneration button. There's another one with a slash through it. That's the inhibit button. What the inhibit button does is allow you to turn off the regeneration process if you're in an enclosed, confined area. Uh, don't recommend using that button unless it's absolutely necessary. You want the regeneration to occur as the tractor needs it to happen. There is also, on M5s and M760s, and we happen to be by an M5L, a third button that looks very similar to the engine warning symbol, but this is a constant RPM button. Has nothing to do with the regeneration process, so don't let it confuse you. Uh, how the regeneration occurs is if the tractor determines there's enough particulate matter buildup in the DPF, uh, it's going to want to heat up and burn that off. And what will happen? is on the dash lights, uh, you'll start getting a regeneration indicator flashing. And as long as all the requirements are met, uh, it'll go ahead, you keep on working, uh, it'll turn to solid, it'll go through the regeneration process, and then the light will go out. If you don't have enough RPM, because it does take heat to make this work, then you'll get another symbol on the dash that flashes. And that'll be the RPM indicator increase. It's got an arrow pointing up. All you need to do is pick up your RPMs and continue to work. The regeneration process will occur. The RPM indicator will go out when you have enough RPMs. The regeneration light will go out when the process is ended. Alright, so what happens if I don't do that? Well, if you don't do the process as recommended, then the tractor is going to prompt you again, and you'll get a, uh, a beep warning signal coming. The, the worse the situation is, the more it'll beep. If you don't regen soon enough, then you will get a park regeneration symbol that'll come up on the dash. And what that one indicates you do is, is you've bypassed 
level one on the regeneration, you're into level two or 2.2, uh, and you're going to have to stop and, and do the parts regeneration. Um, one thing to note is occasionally the tractor is going to require a parts regeneration even if you've done everything right. That's okay. Um, but it's just trying to keep that muffler system cleaned out so everything functions and everybody's happy. So part uh, one more symbol that could come up, especially if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, is the engine warning lamp. And if you see the engine warning lamp come up, you're definitely going to need to do a part regeneration. So uh, that symbol will be a, a lamp up there. Uh, it could come on for other reasons, uh, but primarily we're talking about the regeneration. Nothing to be scared of. Just let the tractor do its thing. It does take some RPMs. Uh, we recommend not idling around uh, or working at low RPMs, 12, 1500 as a minimum on your RPMs as you work and do your daily chores. Now let's talk a little bit about parts regeneration uh, and how that process works. Pretty simple. If the lamp comes on, I gotta find my note. What you're gonna do is, is bring the tractor to a stop. Uh, you're gonna a little windy today. All right, here we go. Parts regeneration. Uh, you're going to bring the tractor to a stop in a safe area, uh, not inside a building. Uh, it's going to set the parking brake or put the parking pole in neutral. Uh, put your shuttle lever in neutral. Return the engine to idle. You're going to turn off the PTO, lower any implements to the ground. Um, and when all these condi conditions are met, um, the park regeneration lamp on the park regeneration button on your dash will flash. You press that park regeneration button and, and leave all your controls alone. The engine RPMs are going to increase on their own. Tractor is going to labor a little bit. You're going to see it smoke. That's all. That's all normal. That's all part of the process. Uh, after the regeneration process is done, the engine will come back down to idle, uh, and the lights will go out. But while that's going on, don't change the throttle. Don't let the engine RPM increase bother you. Leave the throttle alone. Leave your PTO controls alone. Three-point hitch, uh, and it is a good idea to stay with the tractor during this regeneration process. Thank you.